Here's how to create a quick slideshow in your Bubble app. Uh, so I have an empty page here. I'm using the new responsive engine. And just to be clear, uh, my data structure is I have a data type called slides uh, with just really simple, just an image field um, and uh, then four slides for some images. So on my canvas here, I'm going to draw a repeating group. And I'll just center that for neatness. Uh, and uh, I want to show one image at a time. Um, so uh, first of all, I need to just change the inside container uh, to a row that's referring to what's inside of each cell. Um, yeah, here we go. Here's how I make uh, it show one image at a time and then data source slides. Do a search for all slides. OK. Uh, then into my repeating group, into the first cell, if I just pop open the uh, elements tree, you can see here my image is inside. Uh, and so I can make that 100% width. Uh, I'm going to, all of my images are the same aspect ratio, so I can kind of put in a, an override here so it gets the size and the shape right. And then the dynamic data is current slides image. Okay, uh, this is going to be really simple. I'm going to add in two buttons below, one called previous and the other called next. And I'm going to group those in a row, place that row in the middle, um, just because I like things to look a little bit more neat, a little bit neater. There we go. Uh, so what workflow actions do I need? Um, let's have a look. Start a workflow. So when next is clicked, element actions, show next, it automatically fills this field here because I've only got one repeating group on the page. I want my slideshow to wrap around. Um, and then I can go uh, the opposite here. Uh, show previous, wrap around. Let's preview that. There's my first slide. Next slide. Will it loop? There you go. It loops round. What if I want my slideshow to progress automatically? Well, I can do a um, do every five seconds, and I can just add in that command there and wrap around. So then it should progress through my slides in order every five seconds. Let's see if that works. There we go, that was five seconds. Try one more. Brilliant, cool, we can see that that is working.